Hello everyone, today I will show you how to plot the FTIR graph for your research article. My graph will look like this at the end of the video. So here I have wave number on the x-axis and I have transmittance values of five different samples. So we convert these values into normalized form, which is a professional way of doing. So I will select all of these transmittance values of the samples, right click on the mouse. Here you will see an option which says normalize. By selecting this, a window will pop up. Here you will see uh, a normalized method, which is from 0 to 100. You can choose different, but professionally, uh, mostly people use 0 to 100 and make sure that the output is new and then click OK. In this way, all of your uh, FTIR transmittance values are converted into the normalized form. The minimum is given the value 0 and the maximum is given the value 100. You can still plot your values by using these values, but uh, I will suggest you by doing this normalized to better visualize your data. Then select this uh, wave number column and then press control on the keyboard and select all of these normalized value then plot the graph you can plot it either by selecting this line button here or going to the plot option and then going to the basic 2d where you will see this line graph select this and your graph will pop up to make this graph look professional double click on the y-axis go to the scale option from vertical choose from minus 10 to 700 you can change this value uh, according to your data then go to line and ticks and here you will see major ticks keep it as none and for the minor also make it as none then go to the scale option again this time choose horizontal choose from 4000 to 500 or 400 as per your data and then press ok now just click on this graph this window will pop up you will see here it says layer frame select this one and in this way uh, a box will be formed Move this uh, legend to the side and make it small now select this y-axis value and then press delete from the keyboard now double select this y-axis and make it as transmittance or absorbance as per your data and make it as arbitrary unit dot a dot u double select the y-axis and make it as wave number and then give the unit which is centimeter minus one now select this minus one and in this tab you will see here which is superscript select this one and it will make it as superscript now double click here in this blank area you will see a window will pop up with layer properties go to the stack option and here you will see individual select this one and make sure that y is selected then press ok now select layers and drag it to the top you can do this by selecting one by one and placing it in the graph. Now select any of the any of the line. This window will pop up. Select here as two. Then your graph will all of your layers will be selected. Now, if you want to show particular peaks, go to the insert option. Here you will see an option straight line. Select open dialog. You have to put the values of the peaks which you want to show for example i want to show a peak at 18 21 50. i also want to show two more peaks for example at 1400 and at let's say 880. by doing so uh, you can select as many peaks as you want you can also play with these lines for example you double click on this line and here you will see the width for example if you want to increase the width or if you want to change the color for example this pink one and then press ok you can do this for the rest of the lines so in this way you can demonstrate the lines suppose you want to make them small for example you can give them the size of 14 and then drag it back to the close to the to the peak line now you want to show which what function groups are present on this peak you can see here the option text tool just click on it and then click on the speak value and then you can plot the functional group which you think is this one and then you can also change the size of it you can then copy this one and paste it and then you can drag it to the all of the peaks and then you can double click on this one and then you can change the name of each of the each of the peak if you want to make it small subscript then you can see here it says subscript just click on this and it will make it a subscript then you can select this one and here you see a bold option you can click this one and it will make them bold you can do the same with all of the peak values 
so you don't want this legend but you want the names here you can select this text box again and click on this line and then you can give the name and you can change the size again suppose you are okay with this one you can also make it bold suppose you are okay with this one then you can select this one and press ctrl c and ctrl v and bring it down and this way you can place to as many lines as you want in your graph and then you double click on this one and then you can change the name now you can delete the legend just select this one and then press delete select y axis and x axis title and make them bold and also these values in this way your graph will be ready if you want to plot this graph in the world you can right click on the graph then click on copy and then click as and then select copy graph as image a window will pop up and you can change the type of the image from here png is good and then with the dpi you can change the resolution of the image 600 is fair enough and then press copy it will copy the graph in the form of image and when it's done go to the word file and here you can paste it in the form of image then you can go to the picture format and here you can change the size to 10 and it will plot the graph in this way you can make an FTA graph if it helps don't forget to subscribe the channel make a comment and do like the video